scope meters and things like that. I remember being a Capcom on STS-96 when I first saw these signs. That's pretty amazing. Wireless access point. That's number one. We have three total. This is the pressurized mating adapter, PMA. And uh, inside, this is where we keep all of our clothes. Not all of our clothes, because we got a lot of clothes, but this is uh, a lot of our clothes as well as other soft goods like hygiene items, uh, towels, wipes, shaving cream, shampoo, things like that. And now we're going to fly and we're going to run out of light. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a second and put on a light. Okay, back with you. I have a headlight on. Well, not on my head, it's actually on the camera. And we're floating into the Russian side of things. First and foremost, we are now in the pressurized adapter part of the functional cargo block. We call it the GAA, and it's also a docking port down below. As you carefully look down below, you can see the hatches, and inside the that what you can see in front of us is a uh, the docking mechanism for the Soyuz. The Soyuz is our launch vehicle. We uh, Yuri and I and Richard Garriott launched here. It's also our landing vehicle. We're probably Yuri and I are going to be landing in the in the Soyuz, uh, along with uh, along with uh, Charles Simioni. Uh, right now, uh, it's our lifeboat in case anything goes wrong. So we have uh, our lifeboat kind of things in here. Our spacesuits are ready. We still have a little bit of unpacking to do, but uh, you can see things are really crowded in the FGB. That we thought it's best to leave it in the Soyuz since we still have about two months before we go home, two and a half months actually. So this is the fresh, the living compartment, the bet o And it's a, a bit cramped in here. And we'll stop in the bet o on our way up, and we'll just keep diving down in here. And we'll get into our landing module uh, called the ESA. Um, and this is the place where we sit for launch and landing. And this is this uh, Yuri seat right here. My seat is right over there, and we'll sneak down in a little bit more. But it's really cramped. And Sandy's seat is right over here. Okay. And uh, you can see the Neptune panel. It's a glass cockpit, which is why this is the um, biggest feature between the new Soyuz TMA, well, it's relatively new, and the old Soyuz TM. The A stands for metric, and uh, the B is also the panel that's smaller than the glass cockpit, so taller people can fit inside. Uh, there's a window, that's my, my seat over there flight data file, our, our checklist ready for us, and you can hear a fan running because we're always keeping ventilation to it. So we're going to come on up. It's very compact and not a lot of room. We have a lot of stowage here in the in the GAA. Now Yuri's been busy unloading the progress. We just finished an EVA, so things here in the functional cargo block are very functional right now and very cargo-y. So you can see 
things are just really, really full here in the FGB. And again, you'll have to pardon us while we, while we, uh, while we get our things together as we rebuild the space station from the inside. Expedition 18, that's our job, is to get ready for a six-person crew. You can see there's a lot of uh, containers. These metal containers hold water or urine. And uh, that's what, uh, uh, right now, a lot of these are waiting for a ride back in the progress. As we leave the FGB here, and go into the docking compartment. Docking compartment is another one of those vertical looks. And it's a kind of a misnomer. It's not just docking compartment, but it's also a airlock. So Yuri and I went out in our, these two spacesuits a few weeks ago and went into open space and had a spacewalk. Continuing on down through here, We'll stop here on the way back. Is our Progress cargo vehicle? The Progress is a cargo ship, unmanned, uncrewed, nobody driving, and has the same kind of docking compartment. It's very much based on the Soyuz design, except it doesn't have any re entry capability. So you can see it's all empty now. Yuri had emptied it out, and now we're going to get ready to, uh, to fill it up with a lot of the things that are in the FGB. Uh, you can see there's a lot of metal frames. We have to put those back together. Some assembly required. On the hatch, you can see these hatch clamps, the yellow ones. They uh, they help keep the progress attached to the International Space Station. And we're going to take a look outside. And this is the hatch that I opened up and went outside for a spacewalk and we're looking aft on the space station. There's a ladder, some solar panels. We're looking at the service module, Zarya, or excuse me, uh, Zvezda. And looking at our also our beautiful planet Earth. Let's see if we get a nice little view here of Earth. A little small treat. There's no tour of the space station would be complete without it. Yep, we're still over ocean right now, and uh, I imagine we'll be getting over land fairly soon. If I can, I'll try to show it to you. So that's the control panel for uh, the for the airlock. A couple hatches here, some ducting through the hatches. And last but not least, in the service module, says that, which means star, it's the heart of the space station. It's uh, where we used to have uh, the only, only place where we could create oxygen and, and live with uh, the carbon dioxide removal system, as well as a uh, place to eat and sleep. There's my crewmate, Yuri Lonchikov exercising on the treadmill with vibration isolation system, the TVIS. Yours, because you pretty good. Hi. There's the aura. I like this one because there's a view out the window. And also you could uh, see the, uh, the sun wasn't glaring so much, you could actually see the uh, starboard side of the space station. And you can only see that there's one set of uh, huge American solar arrays. So carefully backing out, so not to bump into Yuri. see the very aft end of the space station. Now again, there's a lot of uh, things in there because we're getting ready to load up the progress. Here's our number one bathroom. Turning on the lights. It looks the same as the other one 
with the same toilet. 